Any number to the power 0 is equal to 1. Well, that's the law of indices. But do we ever question ourselves like why is any number to the power 0 equals to 1? Today we're gonna answer this question. So for answering this question to study this, we need a number so that we can study the different powers and how the number behaves for different powers. Let us consider a number 2. So I'll consider number 2. And I'll take the different powers of this. So suppose I need to find 2 raised to 0. And that's what we're going to find in the later part. Then 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, and it will go on. So let's answer this. What we actually mean by 2 raised to 1? Well, 2 raised to 1 is nothing but multiplying 2 only one time hence it is written as 2 raised to 1 so the answer will be 2 what is 2 to the power 2 well it's 2 square and 2 square we all know that 2 square is 4 how we are multiplying 2 twice so we get the answer as 4 what is 2 to the power 3 well that's 2 cube which means multiplying 2 3 times so 2 multiplied by 2 and then again multiplied by 2 I'll get 8 what is 2 to the power 4 nothing but multiplying 2 4 times 2 multiplied by 2 and again multiplied by 2 and again multiplied by 2 so it's basically 16 we evaluated 2 to the power 1 we evaluated 2 to the power 2 we evaluated 2 to the power 3 we evaluated 2 to the power 4 and these are the answers that we are getting so we went in this order now let's come back Let's go in the reverse way. So this is 16 and this is 8. What are we doing? We are dividing 16 by 2 to get 8. Fine, understood. We are dividing here. So here we are dividing by 2. Again, from 8, we are going for 4. Again, we are dividing by. From 4, we are going for 2. Again, we are dividing by 2. So, to go to 2 to the power 0, I must divide this number by 2. And hence, 2 divided by 2, your answer will be 1. Let's check for 2 to the power minus 1 then. 2 to the power minus 1. We all know that 2 to the power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2. But let's check whether it follows our sequence. So, I have already gone. 1 here, when I divide it by 2, I'll get 1 by 2. And hence, any number to the power 0 will always be equal to 1. I hope you have understood this. Please do like, share, and subscribe. In the next lecture, we'll be studying another interesting fact about math. Thank you, guys.